Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on the Hunter Colour of the Wild, it's a very special day because I've just spawned my 11th, the Great One. That's right, we've got a Great One Red Deer on my map. We'll have a look at him in a minute, but I'm just going to talk about some of the details to do with it. Now, I've been grinding for about five or six weeks, just casually grinding, doing runs when I've got spare time. I kill about 25 to 30 per run. And uh, I'm going to go over the process of what's led up to my great one and how I've done it. Now, lots of other people do it different ways. So I'm just going to give you my take on it. Um, this has been a really focused grind. I've done everything to what I thought would work. I haven't strayed from it. It's easy to do that when you've got legendaries and stuff on your map. You, you keep seeing them. You get tempted to shoot them. But uh, I've been vigilant. I've stayed on the line and uh, kept to my sort of thought process of how I was going to approach this grind this time for my 11th great one. So, Tiawara, this is where we're hunting. The drink needs own time is when we're hunting. So 8.30 till 10.30. I always start at 8.30 um, just to make sure they're there. But that's when I normally hunt for them. Let's have a look at the map on how I hunt them and where I hunt them, my locations and where I start. So let's talk about weapons. You can use whatever weapon you want to use, right? Some people use ethical weapons. Some people don't use ethical weapons, stronger weapons, so they can just kill them because basically you want to respawn. So unless it's a trophy deer, some people do that. I'm just using the 308 and collecting every deer. So I've collected every deer I've shot and I took 713 red deer. I've had nine diamonds during this grind, I've got nine diamonds currently stacked and one great one, which I'm also going to stack because sometimes you get one straight after. Because normally you get a second one um, quite quick after the other one when you stack, or you can do, so that's the hope. So this is where I start. This is the first location on these sides all around it. It's a really big lake and it's full of really good red deer. Now on my left there, right next to my tent, I've got two legendaries side by side. Then I go down to this area. This is a good lake as well. They're mainly on the right hand side from my tent. Then I go to here and this is where the great one is. I can't believe it's on this lake, right? Because I only ever have like two red deer here, sometimes three, but it's mainly two. And that's where the great one red deer is right now, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Then I go down to this location, just on the little side of it, you sometimes initially starts off really good. But as you get into the grind, uh, that area's gone dead for me. You know, I get like one red deer there. And when I first started, I actually used to get a lot there. So it just shows how it changes. Then I go down to this area. Now this location is one of the best locations for red deer, in my opinion, on Tiwara. Um, I've got two legendaries in this sort of corner. And it's absolutely stacked with good red deer all the time. So this is one of my favourite areas. Some areas just seem to be better than others. I don't know why, but they just seem to spawn better red deer. I don't know why. Right, then we go up to this location. Now, I normally go on this left there. Um, I have got a legendary on the left. Then I go and just shoot over the lake. So basically, go to there and then just shoot over wherever I can see decent red deer. Then when I've done that, I go over to the top right hand corner. Now this is a very good lake, um, it's a big one, you get a lot of red deer here. I've currently got two legendary red deers on this location, one right next to the outpost on the right, one on the left. I'm actually a three, I'm not sure, we'll have to have a look at that um, soon. But uh, yeah, very good area. Then when I've gone from there, then I go down to my favourite lakes on Tiawara, and it's these two. These never seem to fail me, but I also make sure that they're free of hunting pressure. So I get all the best spawns back at that location. And uh, I've currently got some hunting pressure on the left one, as you can see. Um, but I've got a diamond on the right one. Um, I haven't got a diamond on the left one yet, which is... We have had a lot of diamonds actually, um, but it is one of my favourite areas. But when I've cleared that hunting pressure, then I'll go back there. So that's why I start at the top left, hammer these two areas especially, of all the good red deer, 
And then by the time I start again at the top left and, and start my run again, by the time I get back there, all the hunting pressure will be gone. Then I come down to this river system and as most of you know, it's really good. Just here, I've got a really big diamond red deer I've been saving. Um, he's just being stacked at the moment. He's sitting with a level two. It's always funny to see them both together. One of the other reasons I like this area is because you get a lot of group animals. So you get like pigs, you get fallow deers, um, you get goats. So you can get rid of a lot of hunting pressure off your other areas so you can go back quicker. Uh, I do this on a lot of other reserves for animals as well. It's a really good thing. Find herd animals, slaughter them, and then remove your hunting pressure so you can return back to your grind. And last not least is this area. Now this initially starts out good, right? I've had some really nice trophy red deer off here. I had a mythical piebald here. But now I've progressed later in my grind, it's dead. There's no red deer there for me. Sometimes I'll get one or two spawn back but it's literally dead like the other one on the left now. The, since I've the initial spawning, uh, it's totally changed during the uh, grind to the end sort of thing. And then I go back, that's it. I go back to the left and that is my grind process. So I use a 308, I collect all my red deer. I start at half eight till 10.30. If you follow my process I've just shown you, you probably have to change the time twice but it won't matter don't worry about money because you'll stack loads of cash so now we're going to go over another important part of grinding what do you shoot what levels do you shoot now with herd management a lot of us have since great ones came out tried different strategies to try and get great ones like i say i've had 10 great ones before this just shooting random animals but this one has been just herd management really focused um, I've been strict with myself not shot animals when I thought mm, I'd like to shoot it and collect it like legendaries but I've stacked them and I've stayed true to my original idea now a lot of people recently found out or learned there he is um, that basically for a lot of animals, whichever you're grinding, red deer or black bear, you shoot sixes above to nines. And then basically what you want is your smaller levels to increase. Now, the thing with this is what I did, and this is how I started out. I started out shooting level sevens or above for red deer. And the reason for that is there's a lot of sevens on Tiawara. So it's not hard to find sevens. So I thought if you shoot the bigger ones first, you may get bigger ones spawned. So what I was trying to do was get level nines on my map. Then when I've got enough, when I feel I've got enough of those, like five, six, seven, um, then I'll start trying to get the smaller ones. Now the smaller ones, right, they are harder to get than the bigger ones, believe it or not. Uh, level twos, things like that, they're really hard to get compared to level nines. Once you get into the grind and get going, and you'll notice this as you start grinding. Well, basically what I did was, once I had about five to seven level nines on my map, then I started shooting fives and fours, uh, hoping to get threes. That was my plan. Um, once I got about 10 level threes from doing that, then I started shooting some of the threes, not many of them, but I wanted to try and just get a couple of level twos on the map. Because I thought then, if I've got twos, threes, all the way up to level nines on my map, and hopefully it would spawn the great one next. That was the plan. So that's what I stuck to. And once I got enough of the lower levels on my map, twos and threes, then I left them alone, don't shoot the small ones, and I started shooting five sixes and sevens and that's all i've been doing for the last week and a half and now it's giving me legendaries every couple of runs so they're really starting to stack up once you get it right they they so often and then like i say i've just come here and the great one spawned after the last run so it's worked out quite well 713 kills and now we're stacking the great ones so that's what we're going to try and stack in the diamonds so hopefully we get a super rare spawn which is what i ideally wanted in the first place but we'll definitely take another great one so we're gonna take this one not yet 
probably before whenever the next big update is. Uh, but for the next few weeks, I'm going to try and stack and see what we can come up with and what we can get. But it's been nice to try it out, not stray from the path. And as I put yesterday on social media, stay positive during your grind. If you're getting down and a bit bored of it, have a break or just, just casually grind. And that's why I think this is the best great one to grind. Uh, because it's fun, it's casual. Tiawara is a beautiful, fun map. And uh, that's why a lot of people are grinding for the great one red deer here. So that's all my tips, my process, how I did it. Let's see how far we can get close to him. I think about 120 is about where he'll get to. You can get closer. I've shot great ones with crossbows, with longbows. But uh, you'll find generally big trophy animals will speak about 120 meters. Without being prone or, do you know what I mean, calling and going super deep. Normally just like crouch walking like this. Uh, the big trophies, I normally speak about 100-ish metres. But we're not shooting him today anyway. I just wanted him to be shown to you. So you can see my 11th great one on my map. The really funny thing is I had a terrible start to the day. It couldn't get any worse. Things were breaking. The boiler broke, so I had to call someone out. We didn't know when he was going to come because he didn't know hot water or anything. Stressing about that. Uh, some other things, so I thought, I'll go and record a video, go and chill out. Went to record a video. Um, that bugged out, and I'd spent a few hours on that, so I was not impressed. I was not in the mood for it. So I thought, you know what? Let's just go kill, slaughter some more red deer and chill out doing that. And then when I come to this location and, sp and seen... The great one had spawned. I swore, I'm not going to lie, I swore really loud. <laughs> but it was in like happiness. Uh, I was so happy. And I just thought, that just shows you. Just just be happy, be positive, think good things, uh, stick at it. And it happens, it does happen. So I wish all of you who are grinding for a great one, good luck. Try out some of my tips, let me know what you think. If you want a great one, grind at the minute. Let me know how you're going. Have you had a great one? Whether it's recently or in the past. Let me know. Drop that in the comments. But there you go. You've just seen my 11th great one. And I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm more interested as well what will happen now. Now we start stacking with all these big trophy animals. So this could be really exciting. So I'm Ron McTube. I've been showing you my 11th great one today. We're stacking him up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.